stay here as long as you can. All right, here we go. Hello and welcome to the workshop. Thank you for stopping by. We appreciate you very, very much. If you are new to the channel or you have not already done so, consider subscribing. We upload a brand new video of buckets how often? Almost every single day. Almost every single day. So if you love sneakers, you have come to the right place. We love sneakers also. There's lots of sneakers around here. Uh, what else? Twitter and Instagram, at Mr. Former Simpson. And if you enjoyed today's video, it's a super hyped up sneaker. But if you enjoyed today's video, please hit that thumbs up button. Buckets, we good? I see you over there tapping buttons and stuff. Yeah, I'm just making sure you're in focus. All right, everything looking good? Everything's good. Everything copacetic? Yeah. You know, the Yankee hat straight? Okay, good. Um, a thumbs up goes a long way. It helps the channel grow. Hashtag feed the algo. We appreciate you very much. Um, okay, Buckets, we diving in. You got anything to share? You got any, any life advice? Any encouragement for me? No, not too much. Let's do it. Three, two, one. Bang, bang. This is the off-white Nike Air Force One Lemonade. These released recently and retail was 150 bucks. Now on the sneakers app, you had to be in the Boston area to get a pair or to even try to get a pair. I was out of luck. No chance for your boy. Shouts to the homie Josh. He is negative space on Instagram. Some of you may know him. He also just started a YouTube channel by that same name. He looked out and tossed me this pair. When I walked into the store, I saw him and it was kind of love at first sight. Like buckets, I, I heard some music. Some harps. Yeah, there was, there was some birds chirping. I think I even saw like maybe like a little Cupid up in the corner somewhere. That's probably too much. Yeah, way too, too much. much. You can edit in the sounds, Cupid. I think that's that's above your pig. Yeah, for sure. It's a really nice sneaker. This University Gold shade is muta bella. I guess I thought when I was hearing like lemonade and stuff and I saw a couple pictures, I thought it was a little bit more yellow. These are definitely gold. Yeah. University Gold to be specific. I said specific, so I know what you want to say. Pacific to be specific. There you go. It's a really, really good color. I personally think it is the best off-white Air Force One. I know a lot of people love the MCA pair. Those are really dope. A lot of people love the MoMA pair. Those are also really dope. These are my favorite personally. I just really dig the color. As far as the details go, you have that off-white aesthetic. Really nice leather quality, by the way. Let me add that in there. Very, very soft. You love to see it, you truly do. There's also this metallic silver swoosh with the Frankenstein stitching. And a really subtle detail that I like is this outline around the swoosh or on the edges of the swoosh here. It's almost like little pinholes, buckets. It's like where the original swoosh was. Right, the more traditional swoosh. You know, you barely kind of notice it, but I just think it's kind of a cool touch. Orange tab, as you can see, vintage style tag on the side of the tongue. Exposed edges, which we've gotten used to seeing at this point. 
I mean, all of these details, we've seen them before. It's not the first time we're seeing them, but I still think they're pretty dope. Same with the off-white branding on the inner side of the sneaker. I gotta say medial. You gotta say medial just to be specific to be pacific there you go all right yeah i think you botched both of them but we're gonna keep it rolling no it was good one take drake we we we, we 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 keep it going you got the zip tie you got yellow laces there is an extra pair of black laces as well nike air on the heel which you can barely see very subtle i love how the embroidery kind of peeks out on each side you got the classic air in quotes on the midsole which is pretty much the most recognizable off-white feature that and the zip tie i think and then you got the all gold bottom. I know some people hate off white. I get it. Virgil is very polarizing as far as his aesthetic goes. People seem to either love it or they hate it. I love these. I do. I think they're awesome. And it's not like I'm some crazy off white stan. There are plenty of off white sneakers that I'm actually not crazy about. The problem with these is they're going for about two grand in my size, which is way more money than I would be willing to spend on an Air Force One. But that doesn't mean it's not a dope sneaker. Buckets, do you feel me on different silhouettes? Something about spending i mean two grand on a sneaker in general is a lot but spending thousands on an air force one seems different than spending thousands on i don't know maybe a nike air yeezy one or something like that for sure i mean it's the what's the retail 90 bucks yeah, and it's been around forever. It is such a classic sneaker. That's another thing. That's another reason why I like these is because it is such a classic sneaker. I mean, I don't even think you could really debate that at this point, but buckets to your point, you get used to seeing that $90 price point and you're like, whoa. Yeah, and no, I guess these were 150, but I'm talking- They were 150, no, for sure. We're I'm talking, talking about, about the traditional. Exactly, but then two grand, I don't know. Some, it's a lot of money, okay? It is a lot of money. I'd say if money were no object, these would probably be my favorite sneaker of the summer. We've seen some good releases this summer, but it's something about these reel me in. Buckets, am I, am I, of course I'm higher on these than you are, I'm guessing. For sure. But am, am I off base here? Am I, am I, am I? I mean, I see the value of them, the aesthetic value. It's not... Do you agree the shade is really nice? Yeah, the shade's good. All right, I, I'm a color guy. I like this shade. Okay. I'm trying to hammer that point home. Okay, yeah, There good. we go. I think what it comes down to with this pair, as far as just if you like them versus not like them, do you like the color? And more importantly, do you like the off-white aesthetic? Because like I said, people seem to be very on one side or the other when it comes to that. The truth of the matter is with these, almost none of us were able to get a pair for retail. I wish a sneaker like this, they just one time would make them super, super available and everybody can get them. But can you think off the top of your head where there was like a super hyped up build up to a sneaker and then boom, there was just a ton of pairs. I mean, I know they've done it with the 350 in general to an extent, and they've made sneaker models more available that weren't always that way. But like a sneaker, like if it was a something like this and they just did a gazillion pairs. Yeah, I mean, off the top of my head, I can't think. Definitely no off-white has been super, super available. Yeah, it's just, I mean, so we get used to it, right? I mean, I knew out of the gate, I pretty much had no chance at these. So then it just becomes, hey, am I gonna pay two grand for these? Am I gonna pay 1500, whatever they are in your size? Or am I gonna just chalk it up? So it's a little too much. As much as I like these, it's a little too rich for my blood. Uh, scale of one to 10, I guess we gotta make it official, right? Scale of one to 10, I'm going nine. I'm going nine out of 10. I think they're really, really, really good. I like them a lot. Buckets, scale of one to 10. Six and a half. Six and a half. Not feeling the man. Now you don't pay resale for basically anything. You are you've become known as the anti hype beast, but you've got some weird takes on sneakers. You know, you, you throw nines and tens out sometimes. I think it catches people off guard, and then other times, like this, you just don't buy into the hype at all. To you, it's an Air Force One that's a nice color, and it's as simple as that. Yeah, I think the MCA pair is much better than these, though. Yeah, I think most people would agree with you. That blue is really nice. I don't, I'm not even normally a yellow guy, a gold guy. I don't know what just kind of, I, I mean, know. it's a nice shade. It's for like sure. the hype. It just, it hypnotized me like the, the snake from Jungle Book. Okay. And just, and lured me in. I'm young Mowgli. Okay. And then here I am in the hype. It's just the eyeballs 
and whoosh, it gets me. Leave a comment below and let us know how you feel. What are your thoughts on this sneaker, this colorway, off-white in general, the Nike Air Force One in general, the resale price on this pair and other pairs. However you are feeling, leave a comment below and let us know. Always love to hear from you. Thank you for watching. You are very, very appreciated. We will be back tomorrow, manana, same time, same place, right here at the workshop with a brand new sneaker for your head top. I got nothing else. Buckets, anything from you? No. Adios.